If you don't know, I really love Kaguya Sama Lovers War. If you want to learn more, stay tuned because I'm working on a new video going over the entire anime. But enough about future videos. Something else you may know though, if you frequent my videos on my Twitter, I'm not calling it X, is that my favorite character from the series is none other than Kaguya's maid turned fourth Yuri Bait. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I, I won't get into that. Anyway, it's I, Hayasaka. Normally, I don't collect Nendoroids unless it's a special character, which I think applies to Haya here. Especially since we probably won't get a Figma, a line I collect more of, considering we can't even get a Miyuki Shiragane to go with his literal girlfriend. Anywho, that's enough of a history lesson. Let's get started. Nendoroids are known for their chippy style, which isn't really my thing, but putting that aside, this figure looks incredible. It simplified, but the details are all there, and they captured Hayasuka's face perfectly. Her hair is tied up into a side ponytail with a blue scrunchie. Her beige jacket is around her waist. I'm not sure if her skirt is shorter than the other girls, like it is in the anime, but, well, let's just move on. She can't really stand on her own without a included stand, which kinda sucks, but can't really help it. Nendoroids are naturally cute, and I is no exception. She would look amazing with other Lovers Worn Nendos, but I don't really collect them. Maybe I'll pick up Shiragane and Miko now. Nendoroids' articulations are pretty simple, so I'm just gonna do this live really quick. Uh, ball joint at the head, sort of, where she can look up that far, down that far. Can't really tilt, but of course can look side to side and just go. Wherever you'd like. Her actual ponytail is also on a bit of a ball joint where you can kind of just put it wherever. It's pretty neat. Honestly, I didn't think they would do that, but uh, I'm happy they did because it's nice. Torso is literally just a swivel. That's it. Arms can do a full 360, but of course can't because of the hair. But they can you know, go up that far, back that far cannot really go out because they're literally only just pinned in like that there is a bicep swivel and uh a wrist swivel and then legs because of the skirt cannot really go that far forward decent amount back but you aren't really going to be getting too much and of course they can kind of go around like this it's limited yes but it's a little chippy doll basically I'm not expecting it to be super poseable, but it it does what it needs to do, and it does it pretty well. Accessories are as bare bones as literal skeletons, which sucks because the few Nendoroids I've purchased came with quite a few accessories that really elevated the figures. But sadly, my beloved Haya was not one of them. She comes with two extra face plates alongside her normal kind of blank face. One is her shouting, probably at Kogia's idiocy, and the other is a face full of disgust, probably looking at all the Fujisaka art. Okay, I'll stop, I promise. She comes with a microphone to do karaoke with Shiragane, a cell phone to scroll TikTok, probably. Alternate arm pieces that are bent to help with these poses, and finally, three extra hands for either holding said microphone or phone, pointing, or dealing out a peace sign. Too bad you can't replicate her famous pose. Oh, and a cute little school bag I almost forgot. It's the bare minimum for her when there could have been so much more. Like, what about a short hair version of her from the manga, since the anime probably won't ever get to it? Or maybe her gal mode face, where she screams, hey, hey. Just Anything to justify the price. By the way, it costs more than my Sonic, Mercy, and Diva Nendos that all came with loads more accessories. Now, after all that complaining, what do I think of the figure? I love it! It's my favorite Nendoroid, even. Well, until Shadow the Hedgehog releases. It's a cute little version of one of my favorite characters in romance anime and manga. She still hits all the right notes and looks adorable while she does it. It's just a shame it feels like you're not fully getting what you paid for. Also sucks we'll never get a Figma version of her Shiragane. Like seriously, just make a Shiragane, Hayasuka, Miko, and Ishigami, and that's all you need to complete a Lover's War display. Speaking of Figmas, 
It's Scythe Comparison's time. Starting off with my only other blonde female anime figures, Figure Arts Star Wars Visions Am, Figma's Fate Zero Saber and Persona 3 Igus. Figma Saber actually matches what her Oscar looked like in that one scene where she wore a suit. Bless that scene. Sideswoy Lucina Conti. The Figma's Kaguya Shinomiya and Chika Fujiwara. I'm not saying anything. Nope. It's done. Damn, they look terrible together though. And lastly, my Ai Hai Oscar plushie. Yes, I really do own this. So should you pick this up? Well, it's surely a cute version of Best Girl to cope with no Figma version. And I mean, this is your only option. I still love it though. Before I go, I wanted to say sorry for the lack of videos lately. After the Penacony video and later the Overwatch 2 Season 11 video bombed, I kind of wondered if I should even be doing these videos. But then I remembered I do this all for fun anyway. I'm not looking to get paid because I don't. I'm working on another HSR video alongside videos about Makoto Shinkai's three recent anime films and the original Digimon movie. So hopefully you all look forward to that. But until then, enjoy this special figure review outro and take care.